Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 4 video. My name is Monster and today we're doing yet another quest, or rather a new DLC mod, guys, with over 600 plus mods. Thanks so much for stopping by everyone, we are right now at 1070 subscribers, thanks so much for your support everyone. Be sure to subscribe if you like my video, my gameplay and everything else, guys, leave all of your comments and all of your feedback down below. I would really, really appreciate it everyone, thank you so much for your support. And yeah, we are right now, let me just see... Um one second, just gonna activate my camera, because I see it's not active. There we go. Boom, there we go. Hi guys. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to <laughs> activate my camera. Um, off. One second, because I have all of those um, <coughs> NVIDIA stuff going on at the same time on the screen. Right, but what? Right now it works. So guys, thank you so much for joining the video. We are doing the Mind Games DLC, which is a new mod um, that released on Nexus a few days ago. And it's a six hour demo already. The mod is not finished yet. And it's amazing because what I hear about I heard, it's amazing. And yeah, guys, so we're going to play the mod. You can get the link to the mod is going to be in the description down below. Also, guys, um, yeah, if you have any questions regarding modding or Fallout 4, anything else that's modding regarded, also for Stalker 2, you can join my Discord server the link will be as always in the pinned comment down below uh, so be sure to check that one out and yeah guys thank you so much for joining and we're starting off right now the, the mod itself will start if you follow the vanilla story but if you have uh, mods that change the change the um, institute and the uh, quests around it like me for with uh, outcast and remnants and project valkyrie so those are two other dlc mods that change the quest and the ending completely then it will not work it will not start on its own but on the mod page there is a line that you can type into the console and you can start the quest manually there if you have mods that change the institute so guys we're starting off right now have fun and let's go and the mod i'm using for the clothing just in case you're wondering is going to be the ev synaptic uh, outfit mod. So let's go. The quest's name when you get it is uh, The Young Miss Roberts and you can find and you have to listen to a uh, version of the um, Valentine radio. Let me just see which one it is. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, Data, go to the Valentine Agency. Let's go to Diamond City then. Um, and then find what's going on. So, and for a, hour, for a demo, the six hours is really much. So I'm obviously not going to do all the six hours today. Um, but the next videos are going to be probably still on this DLC, guys. So all of you that uh, want to see my playthrough. So this is still a playthrough, guys. Uh, but with the other mods like Outcast and Rooms and Project for Kiwi, these will have to wait because I'm so hyped for this new DLC mod right now. And I think it's really amazing. So we're going to have to play through the demo first. And after we're done with the demo, then I will go over to... Um, so Outcast and Remnants and Valkyrie and Fusion City again because the next stuff we have to do is going to be Fusion City. Me. Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. Glad to hear it. Oh, look who's back. Nick Valentine. <laughs> oh, look at you. Well, ain't that a blast from the past? <laughs> Thought the Commonwealth might have finally gotten you. Oh, it's trying. <laughs> Believe me. I'm just glad to see you recognize me after all these years. New scars, new creases. You know, from this angle, it doesn't look half bad. <laughs> I guess I'll have to take your word for it. Either way, I think I'll sit down again. Sure, make yourself comfortable. Thank you. So, I take it this is your new partner? That's right. Pleased to meet you. Name's Joanna Roberts. Ellie here tells me we've got you to thank for pulling Nick out of a hole. Glad to see he's got a new partner watching his back. Nice to meet you. I suppose you heard the radio broadcast and you're wondering who the heck I am. Well, short version is, I was Nick's first partner way back when. See, my dad was mayor when Nick came to town, oh, about 50 years ago now. 
gave him this place, let him stay, even if the folks weren't too keen on it at first. Your father's pretty fearless. He'd have to be to run a place like this. Not like he had much choice. See, did my fair share of stupid things back then, I don't mind saying. Lucky for me, my knight in plastic armor showed up just in time. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Ellie telling me you have a lousy memory. <laughs> yeah, no way my dad was going to turn Nick away after that. Of course, it took me a long time to convince Nick to turn this into an agency. Start charging caps for folks coming through the door. Even longer to convince him to make me his partner. But I guess that's a story for another time. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, you two are probably scratching your heads wondering what I'm doing here. Well... It's about Riley, Nick. Oh. oh. I'm so sorry. It's all right. It's such a long time ago. I wouldn't expect people to remember. See, before I left Diamond City, there was this fella I was with. He had two boys, Riley and Kyle. Guess you could say I was a mother to them, or as close to one as I could be. For a while, anyway. Till things didn't go so good. Moved up north, about 25 years ago now. Ended up in this place called Milton. Didn't tell them where I was headed. Haven't seen them since. Don't ask why. Then about a week ago, this trader's at a bar in Milton, telling everyone about someone pulling a gun on his brother here in D.C. because he thought he was a synth. Story is, Kyle was about to pull the trigger, but the guards got him first. Said they had no choice. I'm sorry. Thanks. Kyle was always the more hot-headed one. Anyway, figure I'm the closest thing to family Riley's got now. Decided to come back down. And now, no one's got the first damn idea where he is. Like he's just vanished into thin air. Look... Ellie told me about everything you've been through with your son and your wife. How you tracked down the son of a bitch that killed her. I don't know this place as well as you two. Not anymore. I just want to know what's happened to him. Maybe tell him a few things before it's too late, you know? So, what do you say? Can you help? Count on it. Don't worry. We'll get to the bottom of this. Thank you. Both of you. What else can you tell me? Well, you can probably guess I didn't make the trip down here all by my lonesome. I've got a... Well, I guess you could call her an apprentice. Teaching her the gunsmith trade. Name's Caitlin Harris. Lived down here in Diamond City for a bit a couple of years ago. Maybe you remember her. Anyway, we've been asking around since we arrived. All anyone can say is they remember the argument. And then the next day, that's it. He's gone. We checked his house. Nothing there. Just hoping there's some, I don't know, trace he left out there somewhere. And Ellie, you saw him in the market heading for the gates? What was it you said? He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like, he couldn't stand just waiting around. And then he was gone. Hmm. Caitlin, come in. Meet Nick's new partner. Hey, good to meet you. So, is it true? You're the general of the Minutemen? That's right. Wow. Never thought they'd be back. I mean, after everything that happened. If you're done, did you manage to find anything? Huh? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Just spoke to one of the guards. Said Riley was making a lot of trips to the sluice before he disappeared. Said he'd get paid to help him get there on his days off. The sluice? The heck's that? It's one of the newer settlements. Only got started after McDonner became mayor. Built into a big sewer junction down by the river. 
Oh, doesn't that just sound like paradise? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. You get used to seeing people from all walks of life. Still more orderly than good neighbor. You know anything about these folks? No, never heard of them. They're pretty tight-knit. Tend to keep themselves to themselves. They're not really the sort of place Diamond City types bother with. Might as well be another Vault 81 or Oberlin Station or something. Well, sounds like a good as lead as any. Let us say we check it out. You should rest up. We can handle this. Damn it, Kate, I'm fine. You need more time. You all right? Yeah, fine. Long road is all. We'll be back before you know it. Trust me. All right. But let the detectives take the lead. And Nick, look after her, okay? You got it. Good. You got any more questions? Now's the time. I don't have any questions. Okay, then. I guess I'll head over to the dugout for now. I'll see you there when you get back. Here, let me put the sluice on your map. By the way, that guard I mentioned earlier seemed like he might know more. Maybe you'll have more luck getting him to open up than I did. I can point him out as we go. Should be in the market somewhere. Either way, I'll follow your lead. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Good luck. Okay guys, so there we are. And yeah, as you can see, we're looking for the guy, and yeah, let's go. So... Let's Big, go then. Loud, okay, so... Oh, it's already getting dark, oh, so let's, before I forget, it's let's take out the flashlight. Okay, and the, the guard is gonna be... There's the guard. Oh, here. Wow. Hi, buddy. Officer? <sighs> Fuck's sake, I'm off duty now. Ah, oh, Christ, it's you again. What? She's hired you guys now? I already told her everything. I helped him get to the sluice a few times. That's it. I didn't know he was a goddamn sin. Hmm. Nick? Anything more you can tell me? You know, I can't figure you out, Valentine. You on the up and up, or are you just looking for another tin can for your Institute army? Friend, you got nothing to worry about. Me and the Institute haven't been on speaking terms for a long time. Yeah, so you say. And, well, Becky told me what you did for Hank. Guess I ought to say thanks for that. Oh, now, that's not necessary. I'm just glad everything turned out all right for Hank. Give him my best, will you? Yeah, I will. He's over one of them new settlements these days. A uh, Starville or Sunshine or something. Well, glad to hear it. Yeah, well, uh, thanks. <sighs> all right, you want to know about Riley? Truth is, there ain't much to say. Guy wanted to go to the sluice a few times. Yeah, trading, or whatever. Except I guess he didn't want to go with any of the trading caravans. Asked me in the dugout one night if I'd be an extra gun on the trip. Why me? I don't know. Probably the first guy he saw. Caps were good, so I figured, well, why not? Was making a pretty pile right up until his brother calls him out. Maybe they're all synths over there and he's hiding with them, I don't know. All he ever told me was he was just trading for parts. What kind of parts? I don't know, I think he said something about, uh, vacuum tubes or something. Copper... a Geiger counter? A Geiger counter? Right? Asked if I'd sell him one. It's a sewer, but it ain't that bad down there. Hmm. <sighs> but that's the real game, ain't it? Scaven, selling vacuum tubes and Geiger counters. Anyway, that's all I know. And if you find him, don't bring him back. If he means that much to you, go stay there instead. We don't need any more sins in the city, capiche? Okay, guys, so, not a very nice guy, but yeah. Okay, so, now we have to go to the sluice, I guess, right? Yes, Pipe Dreams, head to the sluice. And the sluice is right by the Charles View Amphitheater. That has moved over there. Let's see what they want from us. Hmm. Let's see what it is all about. Well, loading screen taking its time again. Tactical tablet looking fresh right there. Oh, we eliminated all of the remaining members. Okay, let me put on night vision here for you guys. Boom, there we go. Look at this. Fresh night vision. So what happened to your other partner? Right there. Martin Marty? No. 
Okay, this is it. Okay, clear. So I'm guessing you were expecting a sewer drain or something instead of an old gun store. But, well, it'll make a lot more sense once we're inside. All right, let's go. Just so you know, these folks tend to be pretty cautious. So don't be surprised if they give you the third party. They can be pretty touchy if they don't know you. But they know you, right, Nick? They let you in? One second. I think my ambience is all over the top. Yeah, of course. Of course. Sorry, guys. There we go. This should be better. Sure. That shouldn't be too much trouble. Great. Just hit the buzzer on the door. As long as they know you're with Nick, we should be fine. Okay. Look around the workstation. Oh, we have a chemistry station here even. Damn, look at that. Some electrical tape, weapons workbench. Nice, 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 nice. Looking good. Okay, so... Not gonna happen, pal. Just turn around and head on back to Diamond City. Mind a few questions? If you're working with Nick Valentine, then yeah, we do. There's something bothering you? Damn straight there is. We don't need any more problems around here. You got us in deep as it is. What? What are you talking about? Oh, don't bother, Nick. We ain't letting you in. Oh. That's cold. It's never easy for us, is it? Well, 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 Welly Wellington, eh? If it ain't Nicky Valentine, this guy, right? Two birds with one stone, eh, boys? So, tell me, what brings you back to the common, eh? Dragging out another dame, or uh, you just looking to shoot the place up? Have we met? Yeah, you know me. We go way back. Come on, just like little Dino and Skinny Malone. You know, back before you bumped him off, of course. You know, it's funny. We had us a good thing going on in that vault right up until the moment you showed up. Nah, it's because of you. I'm out here fighting raiders for, uh, you know, scraps of mole rat meat. Fucking mole rats, am I right? Every fucking time. Man, I am pissed. I'm sure you'll manage. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'll manage. I'll manage. After we bust into that little hidey hole they got behind you. <laughs> I'll manage after we put you and your friends in the ground where you belong. Nope. Hey, Larson. We got nope. a situation out here. Whoa, whoa. Let's calm down and talk about this. Done talking. I. Mm -hmm. Let's get out there. <laughs> Down. Over behind us, behind us. There we go. He's dead. These guys deserve it. Hi, Larson. Uh, <clears throat> so, you must be the infamous vault dweller I've been hearing about. Yep. <laughs> You're barely here five seconds, and the place is already a fucking war zone. Guess all the stories about you are true. Oh? What have you heard? How about that you and Nick took out Skinny Malone? Frankie and his boys were all that were left of this crew. Asshole was holed up down the street, scoping us out after he got kicked out of the vaults. But I guess he blew his wad when he saw you, huh, Nick? You keep that kind of talk up, I might just start thinking we're friends. Well, we might just be if you didn't kick up a whirlwind of shit everywhere you go. <laughs> it's because of you we had these jokers here in the first place. And then there's everything going on in the pipes. Go on. Why don't you go down and see for yourself? Wait, you're letting them in? I took out Frankie. Mason's gonna want to hear that. Might as well hear it from his old buddy. Head on in and uh, down to the sluice. I'll let Mason know you're coming. Wait, we're looking for someone. His name's Riley Jones, from Diamond City. Do you know him? Never heard of him. But someone said that he was here a lot. Trading and... Said I've never heard of him. Either of you heard of a Riley Jones? No. Nope. Anyone who comes from Diamond City comes through that door. Trust me, we'd know. Anyway, like I said... You want to know what's going on down there? Go talk to Mason. Door's unlocked. You never know. 
Maybe he's heard of this Riley guy. Thanks. I'll go talk to him. Head downstairs. You'll find the sluice through the basement. All right. Let's head inside. After you. Okay, so Mason's going, Larson's going here. Okay guys, so we can enter inside guys, but I will end the video here for today. The next video is going to be of course about the sluice. We're going to enter the sluice guys and have some fun with the guys inside. See what this whole mess about Nick is all about everyone. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like and a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Um, if, as I said before, if you have any questions, join my Discord server. The link is as always in the comment down below. Thank you so much for your support right now everyone and I'll see you back in the next Fallout 4 Ultra Modded video. If you would like to subscribe, it would be really amazing. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye bye.